guys, it's your girl T, and I want to go ahead and shout out Jarvis Green. So Jarvis Green and everybody and their mama been wanting me to do a video about this whole Confederate flag situation. This whole situation is a hot damn mess, and it's been getting crazier and crazier as the weeks have gone on. So as you guys all know, there's all this controversy that's going on down in South Carolina because at the state capitol, they fly the Confederate flag. And a lot of folks are saying that, you know, in the wake of the shooting that happened down in Charleston, South Carolina, that it needs to come down. So a 30-year-old woman named Bree Newson ended up uh, climbing the flagpole. Um, there's also a 30-year-old white man named Jimmy Tyson who helped her as well. And together, she climbed up the flagpole and she took down the Confederate flag. And a lot of folks gave her props. They started to go fund me for her um, to pay her bail and everything else. So this has been all over the news lately. But once this story went viral, all of a sudden, another story about a black woman hit the internet as well. Now, everybody and their mama done heard of Uncle Tom, right? Okay? So I want to go ahead and introduce you guys to Aunt Thomasina, Uncle Tom's wife. So there's a woman named, so there's a black woman out here named Karen Cooper. Karen Cooper claims to be an ex-member of the Nation of Islam. She's stating that she was in the nation for several years and all they did was teach her about hate for the white man. And she claimed that the Nation of Islam was so racist that she decided to move down south and she moved down to Virginia. And once she moved down south, she found kindred spirits um, in the Virginia flaggers movement. Basically, they're a fraction of the Tea Party and they believe that the Confederate flag is a symbolism of Southern pride and not you know hatred, not racism. And she's the black face, literally, of this movement and she's saying that you know there's nothing wrong with the flag it's not about racism it's about southern pride and southerners are a lot friendlier than people up north and that they should just be left alone she also believes that slavery was a choice she feels like the slave should have listened to patrick henry when he stated give me liberty or give me death he she feels like if the slaves really wanted to be free and they didn't want to be in slavery then they would have just killed themselves it's like you can't make this shit up i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of these news clips with bring newsom and all the drama that's going on down in south carolina check this out and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary you would like to know a little bit about karen cooper i don't like to be told what to do <laughs> I'm a proud Virginia flagger, and we are at Hollywood Cemetery. I grew up in New York. I was a member of the Nation of Islam in New York. You know, the Nation of Islam thinks, you know, races should be separate, you know, black and white and stuff like that. And then I came down here, and we were more together, and I just realized, I was like, well, that can't be right because there's a lot of nice white folks. I mean, people wave to me that I, I've never known. The North, they claim that they like black people and they care about black people, but it is so segregated, it's not funny. Oh, what people think about when they see the battle flag, you know, all they think is KKK and we hate black people. Um, you know, or we want to bring slavery back. So I knew it was gonna be something for people to see a black woman with the battle flag. Actually, most people don't even stop to talk to me because I think they in such shock to see me out there with the battle flag. I don't even think, they don't have the nerve to even ask why I'm out there. You know, I'm not advocating slavery or think that you know, it was right. Um, it wasn't, and none of my friends um, think it was. It was just something that happened, and it just didn't happen in the South. It happened worldwide. I've said this before, and people can think it's horrible, but I believe slavery is a choice. And I say that because of what Patrick Henry said, give me liberty or give me death. To me, you know, if we ever went back to that kind of slavery, no, I couldn't do it. Give me death. I feel I'm a slave now because the federal government does control me. I can't smoke what I want to smoke. I can't drink what I want to drink. If I want to put something into my body, it's my body, not theirs. So what gives them the right to tell me what I should do? That's tyranny. But yet and still, it's only the Southerners and it's only the battle flag that has all the weight and the guilt on it. And it's not right. It's not right. Jim. 
what's how does this action play out? Does it make people say these activists are being impatient and we have a process, or does it galvanize people like, oh yeah, we could just take this thing down? I think people would always try and blame somebody for their vote if they didn't vote to take it down. But the reality is, those people that don't want to vote to take it down are looking for any reason to blame rather than the truth, which is this is a flag of hatred, it's a flag of big, bigotry, and it needs to come down. Bree became a hero to many people because so many of us wanted to go up and take that flag down. We're so tired of pretending like we're not bothered by it when we really are. We're so tired of pretending like it doesn't represent exactly what it does, which is a history of racism and the history of slavery. Um, so you you guys are now facing serious charges. I mean, this was an act of civil disobedience. Are you, James, are you prepared to go to jail for this? Well, I mean, let me just say it like this, I suppose. Um, what, what this could potentially do, you know, how this could help, how this furthers the conversation, how this could, could create, like, uh, the context for making change, real change, and, like, maybe potentially helping end racism, you know? I mean, that, that's so much bigger than me, you know? And even if three years, we're talking about three years, I'll, I'll do that. I'll take that. I'll take that if I, if I feel like that helps to end racism, you know? Because as a white person, you know, and white people perpetuate white supremacy and racism, right? So as a white person, I have a certain responsibility. You know, if I'm if I feel like I'm morally compelled to do it, which I do, then 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 therefore, whatever the consequences are, you know, and if the consequences are really that severe, it just exemplifies how broken the system really is. How about you, Brink? Yeah, I mean, I think sometimes people forget that this is what <laughs> direct action nonviolence looks like, you know? Uh, you know it's yeah, been you know a, the law's going to come for you and you face the law? Absolutely. I mean, that's the history of it. And, and quite frankly, I mean, the night that Reverend Pinckney was assassinated was the moment that I had to kind of come to grips with the fact that, you know, that's a part of it as well, you know, in, in terms of continuing in this work of civil rights and, and fighting for freedom. It includes jail. Sometimes it includes a risk to your life. And those are all things I considered when I made that decision to climb the pole. As, their, as, as, as Bree's lawyer, uh, it strikes me it's going to be a little difficult to throw the book at her if that's happening after a vote is had to take down the flag. And that's a very important part of it. Mark Chenet, I mean, who's, <laughs> Mark Chenet, who's James's lawyer as well, both of us have recognized that although they climbed that flagpole, although they climbed up there to take the flag down, they still didn't damage the flag. They simply unhooked it. They didn't grit it down and burn it. They handed it over to the police as soon as they got down. Right. They showed respect, which Dylan Roof didn't show, which the flyers of that flag have never shown. You're going to be All right, so you guys just saw the videos of Bree Newson and of Karen Cooper. You know, this whole situation is just a mess. Like I stated before, time and time again, 2015 has to be the official year of the attention whores because between Rachel Dorzell and this woman, Karen Cooper, I can't with neither one of these two. You know, the whole situation to me is a mess. I don't understand why she's standing so hard for the flag and so many black people were killed behind this flag. Now, I, for one, you know, in, in modern times with this whole Confederate flag situation, I really don't feel one way or another about the situation. Maybe because I lived down south for so long and I just kind of got used to it. And, you know, I would, you know, I would ask people all the time what their feelings were about the Confederate flag. I would, I would sit there and watch people debate back and forth. You know, a lot of white folks feel like it's southern heritage and it's southern pride. A lot of black folks, you know, feel like, you know, it's racism and they don't like it. Some black people are cool with it. I guess for me, after living in North Carolina for 10 years, I just kind of got used to seeing the Confederate flag, you know, everywhere. And seeing Confederate flag bathing suits and purses. Like it, so to me, I guess I just got numb to it. It just really didn't mean anything to me one way or another. I'm um, being around it all the time. But I do understand that, you know, but I do understand the racial aspect of it. And I do feel like if people want the flag to come down, they should just take it down. And if people don't care one way or another, then keep it up. But I also feel like there's bigger fish to fry. I also feel like there's bigger issues, you know, affecting especially black people in this country besides this flag. But I'm just really disgusted by what Karen Cooper had to say about slavery. Slavery was not a choice. And once again, like I said in other videos, I get tired of people treating slaves like they were just some inanimate objects to be used and to be disposed of at a moment's whim. Slaves were people. These are people who had blood flowing through their veins. These are people who had brains, they had hearts, they had spirits, they had souls. So for her to say that, you know, if they didn't want to be slaves, they could have just killed themselves. You know, I just find that really, really disgusting as a black woman that she would say something like this. These people didn't choose to be slaves. These people didn't want to be slaves. And why should death be their only option? How about not enslaving them in the first place? Why are we not making the victims of slavery guilty like they did something wrong? Why are you not holding the people who enslaved them accountable for their actions? You know, so I just feel like, you know, once again, I don't believe this lady. I don't believe her story. And I find it funny that they're trying to say that she's from the Nation of Islam. It's almost like they're trying to throw salt on the nation. Anybody who follows the teaching of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, 
knows that the Nation of Islam does not teach hate. People who think like that, who think that the nation is racist, there are people who don't listen to the teachings. So I'm not buying that she's from the Nation of Islam. And I really wish that that chapter in New York that she's claiming that she was a part of will come out and see and will come out and state that she was not a part of them. I feel like they should be able to find out if she was a true member of the Nation of Islam like she's claiming. You know, so I just don't respect this woman. I don't respect anything that she says. To me, she's being nothing more than an attention whore. And in this day and age, folks are willing to do anything to get their 15 minutes of fame and to try and get some attention. And I feel like that's what Karen Cooper is doing. So anyways, you guys, go ahead and leave a comment. Let's get the discussion popping. How do you feel about Karen Cooper and what she had to say about the Confederate flag? Do you agree with her? Do you disagree with her? And then how do you feel about Bree Newsom climbing up to the top of the flagpole and taking the flag down? Do you consider her a hero? Do you consider her a criminal? And then how do you guys feel about the Confederate flag in general? Do you guys feel like it should come down? Do you guys feel like it should not come down and people are taking this too seriously? Or do you not care one way or another? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. Hey YouTube, it's your girl Lovely T and you can show me some love by hitting that subscribe button, watching my previous videos, and following me on social media.